beginning, man was perfectly innocent. In that state, God gave man the information needed to remain in a state of constant touch and in a good relationship with the source of everything. Genesis 2.25 explained they were not even ashamed of their nakedness. Suddenly, the devil appeared with another information using the power of questioning or rationalizing. Had God said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Genesis 3.1 the woman in her innocence gave the full details of God's instruction into the secret information. Verse 2 and 3 said, And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. So touching the tree was as grievous as eating it. But in verse 5, the devil went ahead and said, for God does know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. After this encounter, the interaction opened man up to a new twist, to an adventure it opened them to them. Noticing what they never knew existed, they became worried of their state because it was no longer perfect in their eyes. Verse 7 of Genesis 3 said, and their eyes was open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves apron. So they started a journey to search for solution to a problem that shouldn't have been if they were not open to the information they received. So many are currently going through depression, but cannot figure out how it started. Their current situation does not suggest why they should be. Many are having suicidal thoughts, thought of harming someone, but can't seem to control this. We daily hear how young adults commit felony offenses, but the police or psychologists have tried to investigate or taken up researches to figure out how it all started without any success. They are really trying to figure out how to really help our environment. If you can trace the roots, you can curb or reduce the same, so they say. Yet, the victims of these circumstances are seeking vengeance and this alone is creating more monsters in the neighborhood. So crime continues to rise in the ascending order. We daily feed from this news and when we think about them, they could cause something in us. Hate for a particular race or the thought of helplessness demoralizes and pushes us further into depression. 33 says, I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Sometimes when I hear people come up with some discussions, the question I ask, will this help my faith? Do I really need this information? The truth, you could be as good as the level of the information you are exposed to. Because these informations become your knowledge if well processed and could give you an edge or some kind of advantage in life, but you could also be as terrible as the level of information you have. These information that are not fundamentals could mess up your life. This the devil knows and sends them out from multiple channels. In Genesis 2 17, God told the man, do not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. This is because man will not do any evil at that innocent state if he does not know or come across evil. Look at growing up. We never had certain mindset until we came across them. Children learn from the environment they are born into. We speak or develop the accent we grow or develop into. Our brain has a tendency to develop to whatever we they are exposed to. You cannot become a lawyer reading medical books or software engineer reading, anim reading about animals. The devil is aware of the principle of the knowledge of good and evil and now using it to bring individuals into subjection of his rule. And individuals who reject the way out are automatically under his rule. But what about Christians? He daily feeds them with lies. The devil convinces the woman, you need this knowledge to be like God. Some way, we are told knowledge is power. And the Bible also says we become more like him with the knowledge of Christ. Many knowledge is indeed important to our existence and survival as humans. 
but with knowledge. The devil is the god of this world and wants everyone to be shaped by the knowledge of terror, fear, wickedness and be filled with hatred for one another. So he creates racial or sexual abuse. So individuals could conclude the marital institution is not ideal. Many buy in and begin to turn their minds from the instructions and principles that should govern God's people and fall further down from the grace. Our confession and profession changes from being God conscious to self conscious. How did we get here? Some that remember to ask or are seeking God because they know it wasn't like this from the beginning of things and creation. Genesis 1 1. The information we open ourselves to, they come in subtly and gradually take over our minds, then our lives, and many develop into something further from God's intention for individuals. Romans 12 2 admonishes us to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. This is the only way out. The only way a Christian can be who God wants him or her to. I want to dissociate yourself from friends or environment or the WhatsApp group or telegraphs or Facebook groups that has nothing but encourages bitterness in your heart. Some information come to you and the only thing they leave you with is bitterness. So only our solution is looking at the perfect law of liberty looking at the perfect law of liberty is our only solution psalm 11993 says i will never forget thy precepts for with them thou hast quickened me for anyone who wants to return to god romans 10 9 says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and shall believe in thy heart that god has raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved john 14 6 also says Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father except by me. The world will only get worse in how it disseminates information. But to be who God wants us to be, we have to consciously look at what God's word says. Feed on the tree of life. You will overcome that fight of faith. You will overcome the fight of faith. For anyone coming into Christ, please say the following even as I leave you with this, God bless you real good.